Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. So this week we are doing probably the last one of these kinds of videos at the moment. Maybe in the future I'll do one for another animal. I don't know. At the moment, this is the last one of these videos planned. And that is a Crested Gecko body language video. I have a playlist now right here where you can look at the body language of different kinds of reptiles and see what it might mean. I haven't done Crested Geckos yet and lots of people have Crested Geckos. So let's talk about about that. This video is sponsored by iHeartGecko, so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about this awesome company. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first big thing I want to talk about is color changes. With Crested Geckos, we call their color changes being fired up or fired down. Fired up basically means their colors are bright and vibrant or darker, and fired down means they have almost like a pale look to them. It's very dull. This has a meaning. Most of the time, if you're Crested Gecko is fired down. They have that pale look to them. This is just them being super relaxed. Most of the time, this is when they are sleeping with them being fired up. Usually this just happens when they're up and active and moving around and jumping around and just being active lizards. The color shift from that fired up and fired down phase is pretty amazing. So as we just touched on, how do you know when your crested gecko is sleeping since they don't have eyelids? First thing to look for is that fired down pattern. They are going to look pale. Also, they're gonna not move. They're just gonna be in one specific spot and that is where they will stay. This can be cuddled up in a hide if you have it or on the walls of the tank. They usually aren't picky. I know with mine also, he'll get this look to his eyes, almost like they're drooping, almost like he has bags under his eyes. This is how I always know if he's sleeping. Mostly you're just gonna look for that fire down pattern and them just not moving eyeball licking. As weird as this may seem and sound and look to us, this is completely normal and super healthy behavior for your crested gecko to display. This is literally how they keep their eyeballs moist without having eyelids. This will also be done if you have just sprayed the tank down and you accidentally spray them in the face. They'll just drink the water directly off of their eyeballs. This behavior does concern a lot of new crested gecko owners and I get a lot of questions about this, but please rest assured knowing that this is completely normal and completely healthy. If you are holding a crested gecko, one of the biggest body languages that you want to look for is if they're about to jump because these are very much jumpers, especially as babies. A couple different things they're gonna do when they're about to jump. Number one, they'll do a little butt wiggle, almost like a cat when the cat is hunting for things. They will wiggle their butt kind of like they're preparing themselves to jump. Another thing to look for is their toe pads will actually lift. So their toe pads are flat when they are holding onto something, but when they're about to get ready to jump, those front toe pads will actually curl upwards because they are letting go in preparation. Another very cat-like feature is their faces will almost flatten. If you've ever seen a cat about to leap at something, you know what I'm talking about here, how their features almost flatten out. I often compare crested geckos to cats because they do act like little reptile cats to me. And just like with those toe pads, they will also lift their tail up because they do have a sticky part on the tips of their tail. So they will also let that go in preparation to jump so that they're not stuck in one spot. Another thing to look for if you are holding your crested gecko is whether or not it's going to poop on you. So crested geckos have a tendency to poop on us when we hold them because crested geckos stay at room temperature and our hands are warmer than that. Our warmness being on their belly kind of gets everything going. In order to tell if your crested gecko is about to poop on you, usually they're going to be really still and the base of their tail is going to come up just a little bit. They may do some twitches. <laughs> depending on how your crested gecko goes. But just know that lots of crested geckos tend to poop on their handlers. Hunting behaviors. If you have just put insects into your crested gecko's tank, body language that you may see them exhibit are also going to be very cat-like. They are going to get in that about to jump position that we just talked about. They are going to be super, super focused and that's that flattening of the face and the kind of zeroing in on what's happening. A lot of times too, their pupils will also get Big, another very cat-like behavior. When they are focusing on that bug, those pupils are going to dilate, 
so that they can see it better, especially if you have just fed them at night. And then of course, it's going to leap and attack. One big body language thing that I see a lot of questions about is crested geckos being on the ground a lot. While some of your crested geckos may just do this and they may like being on the ground and that may be normal for them, it's typically not a normal behavior. Of course, if you have just fed them and there are bugs on the ground, they're going to hang out on the ground, but there are some other things that you should look for. Crested geckos tend to get on the ground if their light is too bright. So when I very first got Dexter, he would spend a lot of time on the ground because he was not used to having a light on his tank. And I just dimmed that light and he stopped hiding on the ground. This also may be the case if all of your decorations are low instead of high. If they don't feel safe being up where they like to be, they're going to just hang out on the ground where they do feel safe, especially if they are babies. So if that's the case and all of your decorations are low, make sure to move them up. This is also a behavior of female crested geckos that may be gravid because female crested geckos that want to lay their eggs are going to get on the ground and dig to lay those eggs. So if you have a female and they're on the ground a lot and you've noticed that they've been gaining a lot of weight, this may be the case. And the last situation where they're going to be on the ground a lot that I can think of is if your ventilation is out of whack. So if all of your ventilation in your tank is low and there is not enough up high, they could just be going to the ground to get a little more air. And tail dropping. Crested geckos have the tendency to drop their tail. This is usually going to happen if they get scared. They have been known to drop their tail at just hearing a loud noise or if their tail gets injured in some way, if they get it caught in something, if you accidentally pull their tail, that tail is going to drop and it's not going to grow back. So make sure that if your crested gecko still has its tail, that you are very careful with it and you are very careful not to startle your crested gecko if they are the startled easy type. And just know that if they do lose that tail, it's pretty normal. Most crested geckos lose their tails. I am very lucky that mine hasn't. I have no idea how he hasn't. He's scared of everything. And in the wild, 99% of them lose their tails. So if yours does drop its tail, it's not the end of the world. It is something that just happens. But that is it. If you just got a crested gecko, hopefully this helps you out in trying to figure out what it is that they are trying to tell you with their body language. As always, I 100% forgot something. So if there's any specific body language that your crested gecko does, make sure to leave it down in the comments below so that it could possibly help out someone else. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by iHeartGeckos. iHeartGeckos is such an awesome company that makes conversion kits. These conversion kits allow you to take any old aquarium that you may have laying around or an aquarium that you just bought, of course, and turn them into front opening tanks. These tanks are so awesome for things like aggressive geckos that really prefer front opening tanks in order to feel safer. So that way you're not reaching down at them like predators would in the wild. And they're super affordable. So instead of going out and buying big name brands, brand company front opening tanks for these guys. You're just making it yourself and you're saving a lot of money. If you happen to order one of these from this amazing company, make sure to leave Els Reptiles in the how did you hear about us box so that way they know that you guys are coming from these videos. Thank you so much to iHeartGeckos for sponsoring this video. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is for ZachZombie93 for following me on Instagram, going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. And this week's subscriber shout out is for Eden All Day for commenting on last week's video. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. First thing to look for is that fired versus, is. but that is they are going to get low. And I, and if I remember right, I, and actually, I forgot. This one needs to go in the body language too. Hey, mom. Hey. Would you be very quiet so mommy can finish recording your video? Okay. <laughs> oh, I, Mom. I love you too. I love you. I'm trying to record my video. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs>